Hey guys, in this video you will learn the latest workflow of lighting an exterior scene in Unity's high definition render pipeline. So let's get started. Alright, first of all I'm going to create a new Unity project using Unity 2021.2. Give this project a name. Here you can also choose the SG render pipeline from the beginning. But for this tutorial, first I'm going to choose a 3D template and later implement SG render pipeline from package manager. Next I simply click on create. This will take a few minutes. Alright, the project has been loaded. For this tutorial, I'm going to use this bootcamp strp pack which you can download for free from Unity Asset Store. To import this package, click on open in Unity and click open link. And this will automatically show the package in package manager. Next click on import to import the package. Next I go to this bootcamp folder and open up this demo scene. And as you can see right now it is looking pink because this package is designed for HD render pipeline and we haven't implemented the HD render pipeline in our project. So first we need to implement the HD render pipeline. To do that again go to windows and package manager and from this drop down menu choose unity registry and here click on this high definition render pipeline package and then click on install. Next it will automatically open up this HD render pipeline wizard. Now to fix all this issue simply click on this fix all button. Then also click on this embed configuration editable package. Okay. Now you see all the options are green. But as you can see still there are some issues in our project and that's why these objects are looking pink. So let's fix them one by one. First let's fix our terrain. So if I select my terrain and go to its material, you can see there is no material assigned in this section. So first we need to create a material for this terrain. To create a new material, simply right click, create and choose material. I call this strp terrain. Then in the shader option, go to strp and choose terrain lit. Then again select the terrain and assign this material in this material section. Okay, now you can see our terrain is visible. But still the trees on this terrain are looking pink. To fix this tree material, select the terrain and go to the tree section and click on refresh. Now don't get confused here. Clicking on this refresh button will not fix the problem of your tree material. As I showed you in the beginning of this tutorial, this package is designed for HDRP, which means all these objects already have HD material applied to them. I just click on this refresh button to reload all the materials in this section. So if your project has different materials such as standard or URP, then clicking on this refresh button will not fix the problem. If you want to know how to fix pink material issue, then I have already created a separate tutorial for that. You can watch that video from the i button or from the link in the description. Next I am going to save this scene as exterior lighting. Next I am going to delete everything that is related to lighting. Let's also delete this volume. And also go to edit project setting and in that global setting turn off these options. Okay. And now you can see our scene is pitch black. There is no light in it. Now we will start lighting from the scratch. Now first of all I am going to add a sky or an environment to the scene. For that right click go to volume and choose sky and fog global volume. Next go to windows rendering and lighting and this will open up the lighting panel. I dock this here. Then go to the environment section and in the profile section we need to assign the profile of this global volume. So I click on this profile and in the lighting section assign this profile. Then in the city lighting script choose physically based sky. 
okay now you can see even though we have added a sky to the scene but still everything is looking dark so we also need to add a direction light so for that simply choose a light and choose direction light i call this sun okay and by default this light is too bright because it's using a real world sun intensity which is around 100000 lux so in order to correctly see this light we also need an exposure control so for that right click again go to volume and choose global volume i call this post process click on new to create a new profile and from the add override section choose exposure click all to enable all the option and here you can see from this moon icon choose sunlit scene and now you can see our sunlight is correctly exposed for this scene next i'm going to adjust the camera then select the camera and press ctrl shift f set this value to zero okay then select the direction light or the sunlight and enable the shadows in the resolution choosing a high or even ultra okay don't worry about this bright grass we will fix that in a minute you can also enable this always refresh option if there are any animated material in the scene in the post effect i want to add one more override which is tone mapping and in the mode choose aces this will provide a realistic dynamic contrast in the scene and let's also slightly reduce the exposure next let's take a look at some of the sky types i select the sky and fog volume and in the visual environment here you can change your sky type which is none gradient or an hdr image so let's say if you choose the gradient sky then you also need to add an gradient sky override from here so go to sky and add a gradient sky override and also go to your lighting setting and from this static lighting sky script here you also need to select the gradient sky now here you can as you can see the sky is looking dark and that is because the exposure is very low so if i increase the exposure you can see and now here you can also choose different colors to create a interesting effect okay the same way you can choose an hdri sky so let's say i choose hdri and remove this component here for the hdri sky you will also need an hdri texture you can easily download lots of free hdri from hdri heaven website link is given in the description i have downloaded these two hdri from that website and in the import setting make sure to import them as cube map then go to sky and fog volume and from the add override button add an hdri sky component click all to enable all the option and here you can assign this hdri texture again you need to increase the exposure but as you can see the shadows are looking dark and that's why we also need to assign our hdri sky here okay the only problem with this hdri is that if i try to rotate the sun you can see the hdri remain the same but if i choose a physically based sky you can see the lighting also automatically changes according to the sun position that's why for dynamic lighting you can use this physically based sky next we need a reflection probe and as you can see in the water the reflections are looking quite unnatural and also some materials are not reflecting environment properly so for that i'm going to create a reflection probe 
generally you need multiple reflection probe for such a large scene but for this tutorial i'm gonna create only one reflection probe to create a reflection probe right click go to light and choose reflection probe move the reflection probe in the scene and increase the box size to cover the entire scene but if you are working on a project or a game i recommend you to use multiple reflection probe then select all the objects and make sure they are set to reflection probe static after that click on bake to bake the reflection probe and here you can see we are getting better result with this reflection probe now let's also fix this grass material as it's looking too bright so for that i select the terrain and go to this grass prefab click on edit tree and go to its grass material and as you can see there is some issue with the diffusion profile so click on fix and you can see it's already looking fine you can even slightly darken the color like that then again go to terrain and click on refresh and as you can see now this grass is looking much more natural okay same thing you can do with other trees and objects next i'm going to adjust the fog in the scene so again go to sky and fog volume and in the fog section you can reduce this value something like 200 maybe 150 okay much better and now let's finalize our lighting by adding some more post effect first i select my sunlight and enable this contact shadows and as you can see this will add some more contact shadows in this grass next go to post process and first of all i'm going to add ambient occlusion and increase the intensity to one and increase the radius maybe choose a high preset this will introduce more contact shadows as you can see inside the shack or in the grass next i'm going to add bloom search for bloom to add some glow to the scene next to adjust the colors and tone you can add a lift gamma again next you can also use color adjustment to fine tune the result next i'm gonna add vignette and finally go to your camera and in the post anti-aliasing choose temporal anti-aliasing and here is the final result after adding this first person controller If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, feel free to ask me in the comment section or join my discord server. And for advanced tutorials about lighting and rendering, please give a visit to my patreon page, link is given in the description. And finally, thanks to all of my patreon supporters, especially Hannah Sinconen, Timidu, Izok Mok, Alexander, Brendan Mannion, Florian Adrian, Francois Lobe Houdin, Fubi Liu, John Marx, Luis Elvis Hernandez, Marty Rand, Artemata, Silas Renegal and the Masti. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.